we need your support. Click the like buttons below. Now on to the video. Welcome to readyourticket.com. Today we're going to do a Bitcoin update. The data is from Bitstamp USD. And as we can see here, it's holding at 6,000 quite nicely. Now what's, in, what's the secrets about this band is that the band width between the upper band and the lower band changes due to the um, range of the price inside it. So it's an automatic find of support and resistance and it remarkably work quite, works quite well. Now this band is based on quarterly data so we have our lower data which is the monthly data inside it. And so when this calculation, um, this bar was performed up here, it automatically counted and calculated this um, lower bar and it's held. So, so here we have our demand point here. You know, this is the first time real, de I mean, the most recent demand up there. Now, demand after a demand point can be confirmed by price. It, you know, it moves away quite aggressively, but it hasn't done that. So that's a concern. Sloppy demand, we'll call that. Or it can be done by time. And time means we've had demand point here, and to the side, um, the low has not been taken out. Right, so you've got time and price to contend with. Now time, um, we've had two months supporting this demand point. It's not done, obviously, three months or four months would be better, or even better, price moving to get over 8,000. So I would say we'd have to say it's moderate demand. It's not great demand, it's not poor demand, it's just demand which is a bit indecisive. So we're in September now, we're coming to the end of September, end of the month. We have to. Uh, it's pretty low volume, so there's a bit of there's a bit of a um, seller strike, a bit of a buyer strike going on. There's not a lot of activity going on. We've only got one week to go. Yeah, maybe two weeks, week and a half, whatever. So the volume's not that great. So let's. If you are, if you're interested in Bitcoin, nothing wrong being a bit patient or waiting for a close above eight thousand because we've had a demand point here. It's been tested slightly. That's good. It's held. A lot of support coming in. There's no problem with that, but it doesn't mean it's clear. All right? The best situation is the price goes down, it's the demand point, and price accelerates away, okay, and holds. So we're going to still have a bit of a concern on our heads, uh, hands. Sorry, I just noticed today in the last 24 hours, strong demand came in under the hourly chart, so that was good. Now this, what I've just explained there, um, is highlighted in our on balance volume, all right? Here's our strong demand point, but it hasn't really moved away. It hasn't, you know, the the on balance volume hasn't accelerated away, but it is doing well with time. This does not mean we can't get a spike down to bust the weekends, like a high volume spring or some sort of action like that. That's the monthly chart. Now the other important factor on Bitcoin, which which is worth noting, is the wave structure. Now we use our point and figure chart to show us the waves. This is a daily chart. And what's important about about this is the volume per wave. Now, the big accounts, the large boys, big boys, waves show how they're adjusting their accounts. Whether they're accumulating, distributing, or just nothing happening. They don't do all their trading and activity in a day. They take time to build up a position or reduce a position or what have you. They can't do it all in one hour. If they want to accumulate a larger position, especially in Bitcoin, which is a smaller market compared to others, the waves tell us what's going on. Now, to see the colors here, the green and the red, the green and the red resemble the calculation from the point in the figure chart. So the, the blue to the blue and the red to the red are exactly the same as down here. Okay? Now, these, these bars here have the volume below it volume per bar okay so here's our volume per wave which is exactly what we've showed up there now what's interesting here as you can see between this point here and that point there it's all red you see how the red waves are dominating good trend down so something obviously shorting going on action there the previous bullish activity was over here as you can see the the, red, uh, the green waves good price action but really the volume is pretty low so you know it's probably a bit of short covering more shorting down here. So what's interesting now 
As you notice, the green waves are a higher volume and longer. And it got a bit excited here, and they just pretty much put the brakes on it. Okay. First of all, when the big boys want to accumulate stock, um, Bitcoin or any other stock, they wish to accumulate in stealth. They wish to build up their positions without drawing attention to themselves. Because they want to get the best price cost average. And they don't want the, you know, they know there's a public following in Bitcoin. They know the media is going to make great announcements. They don't want that. They don't want to attract the public money in. So whoever's accumulating this, the smart money, they're doing this on small, stealthy swings. The proof is, and the, and the size of the green volume here. Now, you might say, what about this big red downswing? I believe, you know, the, the, the infrequent of this big, let's hopefully it's infrequent, the big red downswing can be accumulation of the downswing while it's surrounded by upswings. Why? Because the big boys accumulate best on downswings. So they can get the price up and accumulate on downswings. Now, the important thing is we do not want to see that again in breaking in 6,000 because that would, you know, break the theory. So at the moment, I believe from this point here, in this range period here, you can sort of say there's a change of character building up of accumulation because of a good volume on upswings, a, a, a large volume downswing that didn't do too much damage. And as we show here, as the price was getting rather, rather um, moving out rather aggressively and they smashed it down. That's because they do not want to draw public attention. They do not want to bring the public into the market. They want to be able to accumulate as they can. So this is why we're watching this with caution. Um, so we're going to, uh, I would suggest that uh, the next couple of months will confirm the bullish case. And then it, eventually it won't be able to contain itself and price will break above eight, 9,000. So if time continues to hold support at 6,000, very, very bullish. Even better so if it jumps up between seven and 8,000 holds. But the character has changed in the last couple of months, July, August, September. So what do we know about Bitcoin coming forward or the next, say, 12 months? We know the Lightning Network and the atomic swaps with Light, uh, with Litecoin are going to support it. Now, there's a lot of people out there believe Bitcoin is going to be uh, the Lightning Network and transaction costs are going to go down. I don't believe that's going to happen because I don't think Bitcoin are interested in the Lightning Network. They're doing it, and I believe Litecoin is going to take that role. So if you... Uh, you know, if you want to buy a house, you'll use Bitcoin, but if you want to buy a coffee, you'll use Litecoin. So I think, um, but the atomic swaps is going to make uh, the change if you're a big holder of Bitcoin and you need to get some um, quick cash to go and buy a coffee, you're going to convert it quickly into Litecoin via atomic swaps. No problem, not going through an exchange. Exchanges are, you know, are on the way out. So atomic swaps will change all that. We also know that institutional money uh, want to play in this market. We know the SECs are going to get an ETF eventually going next year. We just hope the ETF buys the underlying rather than a derivative. We also know that I believe the volatility is going to be coming into the stock market. Now, the um, probably uh, my bet is probably a week or a month before the midterms, uh, the market will start to crack. Especially in the next two years, with the Dems or Trump, uh, you know, Republicans do well, I believe there's always a bit of a slump uh, seasonally in between the midterms and the next presidential election. Why? Because Trump can get stuff done or whoever's in charge can't get stuff done. If something happens, there's always some sort of change going on. So there's going to be more volatility in the markets. And of course, with a 10 year interest rate uh, pushing 3% or was it 3 1 just recently. And talk, uh, some people are saying that China's doing a bit of selling. That's just a guess. So I believe there's going to be a lot more volatility. And the volatility and the pressure on the US dollar, Bitcoin's going to find a new friend with both uh, crypto fundamentals and wider market fundamentals. And also watch out for adoption um, as a member of uh, method of payments to those states, to those sovereign states out there, Venezuela, Argentina, South Africa, where um, the fiat currency system has just really let them down. So there's uh, there's lots of positivities out there. It's a slow, slow grind higher. But this correction so far in Bitcoin 
We'll just go to the log chart if I find one up here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Here's a log chart. This Bitcoin correction here, I would have to say, as it stands on a log chart, there's no different to something like that. Something like this. Something like that. It's not like this one here. As you can see, it's formed a base. Where are we? Uh, okay, let's do that. Formed a base there, then it failed a base and did a much bigger correction. Because this was the um, Mount Gox fraud and what have you. And here we had some Mount Gox selling. This correction is still quite aggressive in time and price. So why shouldn't we see something happen at the end of it after after like that? Okay, so or probably more like this, I think. The, the symmetry would be like that. It'll slowly build up its base and then one day it'll wake up. So there's nothing wrong with Bitcoin. We're seeing some accumulation in the last couple of months. Next two months will confirm um, the accumulation. This may include a spike down, some sort of spring action. But I can, I still believe Bitcoin is in a long bull market. Fundamentals are going to make it more mainstream. Good out, uh, some good output from the developers. Yes, it's going to be a real alternative. For alternative to the fiat currency. Uh, disclosure, yep, I'm invested. Thanks for watching.